I'm Sam Spicconi with Chelsea Now. I'm here today with Dr. Perry Halkidis, New York University professor and frequent Chelsea Now contributor. He's got a new book out called The AIDS Generation, Stories of Survival and Resilience, and we appreciate him spending us some time with us here today at his big book release party at NYU. So, uh, Dr. Halkidis, tell me a little bit about, first, what is the AIDS Generation, just so we know what that is, and define kind of the the, the main principles of what that means to you and why we really have a lot to learn from these men's stories. Absolutely. Thank you for that question. I mean, the age generation can be defined, you know, in a wide spectrum. In the most ma narrow sense of the word, it's men who came of age in the 1970s and 1980s who were infected with HIV and whose lives were devastated by the HIV virus. And these are the men who either died in the first 20, 30 years of the epidemic or continue to live to this day. But more widely, I refer to the AIDS generation as any gay man, positive or negative, who came of age in any part of the world during the 70s and 80s where being a gay man meant your life was complicated by this ridiculous virus that was affecting our community. I would ta even take a more expansive view and say that in places in New York, like New York and San Francisco, the age generation is uh, the generation of any person who came of age during that generation. Men, women, positive or negative, across every race and ethnicity, across every culture. We were the generation that was defined by the onset of this virus, which sort of derailed our lives for a while, but also defined our lives. Uh, one of the things that you mentioned, by the way, I love the book. I read it this past week. Congratulations. Thank you. And, um, one thing that I thought was interesting that you mentioned along with these ideas about the bravery of the age generation was that one of your purposes in writing the book was correcting certain, what you said, problems and deficits that exist in the behavioral literature when it comes to gay men and specifically to HIV positive gay men. So talk a little bit about what you meant by that and what, how you felt you achieved those aims with this book. Well, so let me first start by saying that I, you know, that approach is sort of taking something out of my colleague Carol Gilligan's playbook. Carol Gil Gilligan is a very famous psychologist who did work with the more around the moral development of women, and for a long time, um, the issues of moral development were based on a male perspective. And what she showed through her own work was that those perspectives, those paradigms, were not appropriate for women. And so I take some, took something out of her playbook and was inspired by her. So for 30 years, we've heard heard about and read about what's wrong with gay men, how often we have unsafe sex, how frequently we use drugs, how we can't be in monogamous relationships. Yet, we've never talked about what's right about us. The fact that we lived through this horrible epidemic, the fact that we have great professions, the fact that we have meaningful relationships, the fact that we are viable psychologically and emotionally despite the fact that we live in a society that continues to be homophobic, despite the fact that we were not taught how to have a relationship with somebody of the same sex. So my goal in, in writing this book was in part to correct those misconceptions, to say what is good about gay men, what is amazing about HIV positive gay men who've been living with this virus for 30 years, and to sort of act, provide those stories as a model for future generations of gay men who are coming of age now, who will come of age in the future. You know, the book is obviously has your voice and is, you know, culminating a lot of work that you've done, but the real crux of this is these 15 interviews you did with men of the age generation. And um, it was you know, really powerful because there was a real personal quality to all of the interviews and it comes through when you see the quotes and your reactions to them. So talk a little bit about the personal effects that doing, conducting the interviews had on you, you know, listening back, reading them, putting them in the book, and also from a professional perspective, how it's going to influence the, the work that you've done and, and will do in the future. Uh, writing this book has transformed my life. Talking to these men and meeting these men has transformed my life. And there's 15 men in this book. I could have talked to 1,500 men. I could have talked to 15,000 men. I'm hoping that the 15 men I, I spoke with, who are very diverse in terms of their, 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 their life stories, are somewhat representative of the AIDS generation. Um, for me personally, you know, I went into writing this book with ideas and beliefs about what I thought I was going to find, and I found 15 amazing voices that confirmed some of the things that I said, but also disconfirmed some of the things that I said. It's changed me personally. I, I believe that, you know, my ability to grow and mature as a researcher is informed by these stories of resilience. I believe that it will... Um, grow my ability to focus more on an aging population of gay men. For a very long time my research has focused on younger gay men and we know that the baby boomer generation is, is here and ready and it's really transformed me from being a person who is trained as a quantitative researcher, as a statistician, to a qualitative researcher. The, the depth of the, of the data that I gained from these interviews 
far surpasses any survey that I've done through the course of my career. So in many ways it's been transformative and for me this is the this book in some ways is the highlight of my life. You know, if I if I wrote if I wrote nothing else, this would be an excellent period to the sentence. Well, we wish you a lot of good luck with it. It's Perry Halkidis, the new book, a The Age Generation. It's out now, and not only can read them here, also in Chelsea now, but the book is worth it too, so go out and get it. Thanks very much, Perry. I'm Sam Spicconi with Chelsea Now.